For the history. For the lifestyle. For passion. For the music. For Jamaica. The scare. We have a lot of wrong information about the scare. <laughs> but the scare is really a mixture of rock and roll, listen carefully, rhythm and blues, and the jazz. Listen carefully. Rock and roll. One, two, three. We play them slowly. Two, three. Right? Now we're talking about the jazz too. So it's a mixture of both. Three. Right? I'm going to demonstrate this straight scale for you. Right? This straight scale, some, um, some, some variation is our pattern is like. Right? So I'm gonna mix everything now. This this is a straight sky. One Variations on Ayat. The first variation. Right, that's the first variation. The next one, you can play one and two. Anyone first. So we'll play it with the rhythm now. play that, right? Else you're not playing the scale. <laughs> right? So, I'm moving on to the burro scale now. Right? A lot of people don't know this. One, two, three. Enjoy yourself, but the most important thing you have to know the history of the music. Remember, the ska is a mixture of rock and roll, rhythm and blues, and jazz. Right? That was a straight ska. So we are coming to the um, the the influence of the jazz now with the shuffle ska. When you hear about the shuffle ska, the first thing you're thinking about is triplet. Uh, uh, they Shuffle. So this guy uh, and the I had displayed. Right? 
Derek Morgan, Prince Buster, and a lot of singers and players of instruments. Both the straight scale and the shuffle scale, very important. We have problems over the years in terms of the counting, right? They usually talk about the scale was on the third beat, but they are talking about quarter notes. The, the place it at, the ska was on the third beat. You can play it that way. But I've never heard a Jamaican drummer in the history of my life in music counting one, two, three, three four. four, one, two, <laughs> three, four. <laughs> so we're going to play it in four, four. One, two, three. <laughs> Right? The way people write music, they write in cut time, fast four, right? Well, for me as a lecturer, I like to hear that feeling four. Nothing wrong if you write it in cut time or fast four, because we have a lot of debates on how the feel is and how you're counting and things, right? So, you, we have to put the emphasis on the count because people in the Latin American countries, especially in Trinidad and Tobago, have been there eight years and they count everything in one, two, three, four, one. Playing a slow ballad, two, three. We on this side of the world count one, two, three. It's all, it's all about how you count the music, right? Yeah, right, super for the four. Yeah, man, excellent stuff. Um, Mr. Stewart, I have a few questions here for you. Yeah. Um, very general stuff. How important is it to know and understand the role of the traditional instrument in order to properly execute the right feel and attitude? I, I was thinking about mentor when I crafted this question. All right. You have to do your homework on the mentor. The mentor you have to listen to mentor bands. And during my time growing up, I'm playing with Sonny Bradshaw, Byron Lee, and Richard Dace, and you name it. I've played with Doug Logan, um, Ernest Smith, everybody. You understand me? You get a chance, whether it's in the mm -hmm. hotel or what, to listen to the mentor bands. And it's fascinating. You're, you're there and you count the thing and you, the instrumentation that grab you. You know, not much instrument, a one little banjo. Feel, yes, <laughs> right, box attitude and thing. And you have a man playing the maracas, and most of all, sometimes is the, the vocalist that is playing the maracas and singing and thing, you know. So, you have to coincide the listening power, you have to be able to listen it, the instrumentation. And if you're in a band or a quartet and thing, you're coordinating the song together, yeah, man. Well said, well said. Um. I have another one here. Do you think that music notation can take away the feel of the music? Music notation do have nothing to do with feel. <laughs> you understand me? Because you have to notate the music. If, if I'm writing the, the, the music, you understand? Right? That's why I, I come back to whether you write it in cut time, eh? fast four, one, two, three, four, cut time, or four, four. Right? But the notation remains that people can read the music. Right? Because when we read in it slow for one, two, three, four, you got Trinidad and um, Europe, all over the, um, the, the, the continent, people read in cut time. When we're doing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, we in Jamaica want to play one, two, three, four. Right? In Trinidad, everything is one, two, Everything is 
so that is Calypso, right? Soca, you can play it in four, you can count it in four, but in Trinidad, um, they play one, two, one. <laughs> Notation have nothing to do with the feel. The feel <laughs> comes from the musician generating the feel yeah. on the bandstand in the pseudo or. Yeah, man. Blessed okay. love, Mr. Stewart. Give thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Well said.